Oh. Well, but let's before we get into evolution, I I love this topic of evolution, Felix. I think where you're stuck though is that you you don't really know. I mean, we we really could have just been created, right? If you trust the creation account in Genesis one, then there's no reason to believe in evolution. I don't believe that God created uh, the Big Bang and just let evolution go because it contradicts my point. It contradicts what the Bible says. And if you can't trust the Bible, what then can you trust? I want you guys to call 646-595-3275. If you got the answer for that, call up 646-595-3275. Here's my thought, Felix. The Bible is the only source in the world. And this is going to really burn some hairs off some people's heads. The Bible is the only source, I believe, that has explanatory power and scope to explain the beginning of life and on, all the way to the end. It's the only one. And if you can't trust the Bible, what then are you trusting in? What are you trusting in? You trust science? It's okay to say science. Do I trust science? I trust uh, as far as what? I trust that uh, experiments work and you know you find things out that are absolute. Do okay, I, but I mean, but as far as as far as evolution is concerned, you believe in like an evolutionary theory, right? God got things started, evolution, Big Bang, here's primates growing into human beings kind of deal. You believe in that? Well, you know, evolution is, or uh, by you, by your, uh, by your, uh, uh, by the by Genesis. First, there was the. Heavens and the earth, and then the waters. Is that, is that the way it goes? I forget. Yes. Um, well, uh, let's see. Well, Genesis 1 makes it pretty clear what happens day through 1 through 6. He made waters. He made land. He made plants. He made animals. He made humans. He made the stars and the sky. He gave me light. Or he is light. He just gave the light to the sun. I mean, all these things are explicit in Genesis 1, but they are contrary to evolution. Absolutely. Okay, so that's a problem because the Bible, if it's the infallible word of God in which we shall trust, should we trust the Bible? Would you tell a Christian to trust the Bible, Felix? Well, I would tell a Christian that he's allowed to trust the Bible. That's up to him. Now, I, I can't tell him what to believe or not to believe. I'm, I would never make a very good evangelist. Well, uh, that's not my question. I'm asking you personally if you would tell somebody. Uh, do you believe yourself that the Bible should be trusted? I'm not sure. Okay. I so, think a lot of the Bible was, was written because the people did not understand things. Oh. And when they didn't understand things... They may have put things into the Bible that didn't, that just couldn't have happened. Well, let's do I this. I don't think it happened anyway. I'm going to give my mouth a break, Felix. I want you to stay on the phone for just a minute. Uh, this well, is... I'm going to get a quick uh, cup of coffee. So, if you want me to turn on a uh, Christian song for you? Meanwhile, oh, that's uh, yeah. You could go and do this. See, you're controlling the same panel that I'm controlling. That's very interesting. Oh, yeah, we could always control it. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm playing. Yeah, the, the same thing you could do, I told you, when, I, when I'm on. There's a song, I'm just trying to think of something that's very... How about something like the old-time religion? Sure. Is that good? Yeah, why don't you put that on? Well, there's other songs like Come Follow Jesus. There you go. Why don't you put that on, and we'll be right back. It'll give us just a... Well, how long is that oh, song? Christus Two minutes? Christus Natus. Christus Natus you can play. No, you can put the first, the second one you mentioned. Oh. Okay, this first one I mentioned was... Well, I got Grace. Come, come follow Jesus. How's that? Yeah, come All follow right? Jesus. That sounds really good. Okay, and we'll be back in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to... Come on, let's... What are we listening to? Million Percent Radio with Chad the Challenger and Felix the Pain. 
<laughs> exactly. And what you got to know in the morning, when you first start the show, you got to promote it. If you look at your board, there's a promote. You got to do yes. that. Yes, I know. I'm still learning. I, I really am still learning. Please, please yeah. be patient with me and help me learn the deal. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm telling you. I'm just thinking because if you don't, if you promote, if you you look at the board, there's a the thing says promote. You press that, then it'll email all your people who are on Facebook that you have on, or my, or my people doesn't matter. And then you after that you open up the chat room so the people can actually who don't want to uh, talk will op will go in the chat room. Very cool. Couple a lot of things. I will. Yeah. Well, we got to talk and have a meeting, Felix. You got to teach me. I call him Felix, a technical guy too. This is a chat with Million Percent Radio, and you're listening to All the right, CC here Radio we go. Network. Now we're gonna play. Come follow Jesus. Come follow me to the Bethlehem stable Come see the gift God has left in the hay Come and look down on the babe in a manger Come and meet Jesus, your Savior today Come and receive Him, your personal Savior Come close and worship, to Jesus we bow Come all you faithful, by faith are you saved Come follow so. Jesus, he's calling you now Come hear a story of God's great salvation Come praise Messiah, God's promise of old Come follow shepherds and kings and a new star Come see a gift of more value than gold Come and receive Him, your personal Savior. Come close and worship, to Jesus we bow. Come all you faithful, by faith are you saved. Come follow Jesus, He's calling you now. Come see the Savior who came to redeem you. Come and adore Him, the Lord's Son on earth. Come and repent and accept God's salvation. Come and be given God's grace and new birth. Come and receive Him, your personal Savior. Come close and worship, to Jesus we bow. Hey Felix, can you hear me? Hey Felix. Felix. Okay, I think that the music stopped there. <laughs> this is Chad with Million Percent Radio and I think we might still have Felix on here. Felix, you still with us? I'm not sure where he is, but let's listen to some more intro. What makes the product of your faith true? This is Million Percent Radio. Okay, we are with, back with Million Percent Radio. Thanks for taking a little break there. Had a beautiful little hymn song. I love hymns. And uh, that was Come Follow Jesus. And you need to. You need to repent and put your trust in Jesus plus nothing to save you. Hey, the topic today is an open forum. What is your belief in God? Is there only one God? Is there only one truth? I got a friend with me on the phone. It's um, Felix, or better known as the, Re the Rev. Not sure what he's the Rev of. <laughs> Felix, where are you? I got him on, but he's not listening right now. But hey, we're talking tonight about your belief in God. And uh, kind Felix decided to call and harass me tonight. But he's breaking some very good uh, argument. Okay, and the argument is, I'm not sure. And I think, that's, I think that's noble of Felix. To be able to come in and say, well, look, 
I don't have the answers. This is what I know. Evolution. God started. And by the way, a lot of deists, a deist is somebody who believes that a God exists. We're not 100% sure who that God is, but he started things and got it rolling and let evolution take over kind of deal. Well, how else do you explain laws of logic? How else do you explain morality? How do you? How else do you explain about things like how we are to behave, how we ought to behave? Felix, you still is that with me us? You talking about? Oh, I talked about you. I talked all kinds of junk about you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, all Felix. Right. I'm just giving a little intro back from our little break here. Um, yep. so, so we're just kind of finishing our conversation. I only have a few more minutes left. I think I'm going to cut the show out here pretty soon. I'm getting pretty tired, and uh, the show's only got about 15 minutes left. But I, I would, I would encourage you, Felix. And, and uh, this is just you know me talking to you like normal. Think about logically how we are to explain this concept of God. Now, if if there is a God out there who started things, just kind of created the Big Bang, evolution, what have you, then we can't really know that God because that's certainly not the God from the Bible. Now, there might be another God somewhere who is also called the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which there's only one unique title, and that's the God given in the Bible. But anyway... I don't I'm, think so, but go ahead. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any other God out there. So the problem is, if we can't trust a source, Felix, my argument is this. If you can't trust the source in which you got that information, then why believe that he just started it and created evolution? Where in that source shows you that he started evolution? Do you know? No. So why do you believe I, I it? I can't prove it. Not, and I don't think you can prove Adam and Eve. Well, I can't prove Adam and Eve other than God's written word is in there, and I believe it. But here's what I can prove, Felix. Was, hold on, hold on. It was I'm man's word that was written, not God. Well, I'm going to get there. If you give me some, uh, give me a second, I will show you how you can show, see that. And for that, you got to go to Romans chapter 1, 18 through 20. Here's what you have, Felix, and I'm going to go there for you because I care about you, my friend. And plus, you're kind of a always a thorn in my side, so I have to kind of just talk to you because I feel obligated. Well, I'm only thorn on your side, and if it wasn't for me, <laughs> you wouldn't be putting out your word on, on Saturday night. So take, take me as a good thorn. <laughs> yes, I do. You know, I'm just kidding with you. Okay, now listen. I know. I'm, listen, I, I'm, listen, you know, the reason why we get along is because we can say how we feel. We can say what we feel like, and I don't think we insult each other. Uh, like, for instance, I, I don't like your accent. Okay. How would you like me to speak like this? Or, good evening. Yes, I want you to speak How with are an, you tonight? I want you to speak with an English accent. I think if you speak with I, an English accent, I'd get along with you better. Blimey, <laughs> don't I try. Know. Don't try. <laughs> a New Yorker boy with a New with an English accent. I'm, 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 a New, I'm a New Yorker all the way. Woo, baby, get some pie. Well, not, not exactly. I was born in Israel. Were you really born in Israel? My first almost nine years there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I never knew that about you, Felix. That's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Wait, see, you just don't remember. I've mentioned it many times. Did you? No, I don't remember you telling me that. But my that's father good. was Catholic. He he helped. He saved my mother during World. She was Jewish. He saved her during World War Two. He hid her out in the closet for a year for a year and a half during World War Two. And then when they, the end of the war was over, they had nowhere to go but Israel because nobody else would accept them. So they went there. Oh, Nine wow. years That's... later, through Catholic Relief Services, my father was able to get into the States. How about that? Now, where is your dad from originally? Poland, same as my uh, mother. Oh, from Poland. Wow. 
How about they got an incredible story then? That is an incredible story.